How's it going everyone? Byron here with Riders Domain. We've got a special project for you today. We brought the 2018 Yamaha XSR 700 into the studio and we're going to give it some upgrades. Now the XSR 700 is new to the States in 2018, but it's powered by Yamaha's 689cc parallel twin engine that has been really popular in its MT-07. Uh, but with the XSR, Yamaha really wants riders to be able to, to make this bike their own. So they have created a really customizable motorcycle here. And to that end, they offer a fairly extensive catalog of accessories. A uh, lot of bolt-on, a lot of really easy to install pieces that are going to improve the, the performance, the look, you know, the, the carrying capacity of the motorcycle to suit your needs. So one of the things that we really wanted to do with the XSR was improve its carrying capacity, which is why we chose to put on Yamaha's Adventure Saddlebags. Now, these are 860 cubic inches of space. Uh, they've got some little hidden buckles underneath these vintage straps on the outside, and they're rigid, so they're gonna keep their shape and keep your stuff you know, nice and protected. In order to fit those on though, we're gonna need to also install the saddlebag support bar kit, which are these pieces here. And additionally, we're also gonna add the rear rack to the bike, which is this piece right over here. It's gonna allow you to lash down you know, a tent, sleeping bag, anything that you don't necessarily need to have protected by the saddlebags. Now, in order to get the rear rack on there, we're gonna have to swap out the dual seat for the solo seat, which we've got right over here. And then to improve the looks and the wind protection, we went ahead and got our hands on the smoked windscreen right here. And these brackets here, make sure everything stays put nice and, nice and safe. And finally, to address the big silver radiator out front, we went ahead and got a radiator guard. Uh, it's got a nice grill pattern and blacked out edges. It's gonna better match the internals of the bike. Same goes for the radiator side covers that we have here. Now with this, a uh, bit of kit installed, we're really hoping to improve the look of the bike overall. So we're about to get started. Uh, we're gonna address the radiator first, put the cover and side plates on there. But before we do that, I wanna throw in a disclaimer. Uh, this is meant as just a demonstration. This isn't a how-to video. So if you do decide to do any of these upgrades, follow Yamaha's instructions to a T and make sure to torque bolts down to spec. So the first step is going to be to remove the radiator side cover bolts. You're going to want to hang on to the stock bolts because you're going to go ahead and reuse these for this part. And then you're also going to want to remove the radiator side cover mount as well as the side mount clips. And then next we're going to put the new radiator cover on and then reinstall the side plate mounts. And there's no need to replace the clips that you pulled off when you dismantled it in the first place because the bolts for the side plate uh, holders screw directly into the new radiator cover. And since we've got the old side covers off, we're gonna go ahead and just install the new ones right now. Okay, so we just got done bolting on the new pieces to the radiator, and as you can see, uh, it really does a lot to improve the look of the bike overall. So next up, we're gonna install the windscreen. And what that's gonna take is removing the turn signal mounts on both sides so we can install the brackets that are gonna hold the windscreen in place. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the two uh, stock hex head bolts out here in the back. Okay, now that we've got the two hex head bolts out from back here, we wanna pull the unit out from the headlamp bucket because when you remove this bolt here, there is a chance that this nut could fall into the headlight and cause you all sorts of problems. So we're installing the brackets for the windscreen. Uh, we've got one partially on over here. We've installed the other on the other side completely. Uh, you'll want to run the turn signal lead through this little gap into the center. And then you're also going to want to install the factory uh, nut, the spacer, and the bolt 
with the bracket on the inside here. Now that we've got the brackets on, next step is to uh, just drop in these little well nuts so the face shield has something to anchor to. And it's real simple, you just pop them in like that. All right, next thing we're gonna install the windscreen to the brackets using these screws and washers that are provided in the kit. So we've got the windscreen on. It's a fairly easy piece to put on. It's a little bit more complicated than what we were doing with the radiator, uh, but it's on there now. It looks good. And we're going to move to the back end and put the rear rack, the saddle bags, and the single seat on. Now that we're all done with the front, we're going to move to the back install the rear rack first along with the saddlebag support kit and saddlebags. Rear rack installation is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to remove two of these hex nut screws here and the support for the dual seat and then we'll be able to install the hardware for the rear rack. We've got a butterfly washer to install to secure down the back of the rear rack and then we're going to replace the stock bolts to secure down the front. So we're moving on to the saddlebag support bar kit. Uh, we pre-assembled it and now we're going to mount it to the bike. We're all done installing the uh, mounting hardware for the saddlebags, got them bolted into the back and the front here. Now we're going to grab those saddlebags and get them on the bike. And that's it, we've got the saddlebags installed and the final step is gonna to be to put the single seat on. Modifying the XSR700 is really easy. Uh, the, the pieces that we picked bolted on really quick uh, you know, we didn't have to use a bunch of crazy tools. Honestly, I used the, the Allen wrenches that Yamaha supplies underneath the seat. I uh, gotta stress again that if you do this at home, make sure to follow the instructions to a T and torque down the bolts to manufacturer's specifications. If you have any questions go ahead and leave us a comment and if you want to see any of these parts follow the links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Riders Domain for more motorcycle videos.